Hello everyone. How are you doing, dear? Why is this card? Okay. Aries, I'm going to do your reading today. Yay. So let us proceed. Ah. Okay. First off, I just got back off of vacation, so don't mind me. I'm just awkward. <sighs> I just got home a little bit ago. I'm tired. We got a, we left at like three this morning to get back home. So I am quite exhausted, but that's okay because I don't mind spending that exhaustion on me. It's early after all. Or whatever. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah. So, hope you guys are doing well, after all. Get to see what's going on with you for September. Sorry to make you wait so long, Aries. Happy. First time I've taken a vacation in a couple years now. I usually am pretty good at finding jobs that offer that kind of benefit. Quite lucky with that. I'm very thankful. Uh, that was new to curb my attitude sometimes, too. So... Okay, let's begin. So, Aries, let's see what's going on with you. You feel like you're being left out in the cold and someone's just watching you from the door, like... Mm, like they're warm and you're just out on the street alone looking at it like, I wish you'd let me in. Like maybe your finances might be going down a little bit, too. Maybe they feel like there's a financial strain and you could be a source of it and that's why they're keeping you out a little bit. Like they're looking at you like it's your fault and they're trying to keep themselves secure maybe. What you want? Something with bad judgment, a bad idea. I wonder what that bad idea is. I can bring these down here so you can see better. I hope there's enough light. Yeah, it's a bright enough day. It's a nice August day. What you're afraid of right now is karmatic injustice. Like, hmm. Something is not balanced. Like, both swords are pointing down to here. That's like a final result situation. Like, not like this is how, what it all ends up to being, but this is what. It collapses to all this together like the main message is kind of like the themes except I don't know how to explain it except uh like you can't watch season three of Grey's Anatomy and think you know what the show is entirely about right this is just a slight summary of it all together. What's going on around you? A lot of fighting. People aren't focusing on the, the goal up here on that hill. It's going against you. Uh, what is this? Eight of Wands? Lack of movement, lack of um, reaping rewards. Not really paid attention to that bird coming across with that note, right? Like, you're sitting there looking for something, but the bird is over your head behind you, and you're not looking. It might tell you to go ahead, it might tell you to wait, but it, what's going against you is you, someone's not doing anything. Final result being a page of pentacles, possibly Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Mind you, this could be a, a Libra. But this is someone who can manifest some things. Or has the ability to adapt, to learn, to manifest things. With the beginning theme being... Oh, a heartbreak situation. Someone's got a broken heart. That's sad. It's never fun. 
Oh, one card popped out. Um, something to do with the chariot, possibly a cancer. Ready to go, ready to charge ahead. He's got his armor on, he has got his wheel set. We even got a little trike wheel up front. Maybe you feel like that or you're dealing with a cancer. Maybe that's the person whose heart is broken or something like that. Oh. And someone's ready to walk away. Like, there's a souvenir, but that's all they're worried about. They're not worried about the rest of it. They don't even care. Just like, I have this. I don't need the rest of this. Oh, dear. It's a hell of a conversation. No whammies. Okay. Aries. With this feeling left out in the cold a little bit, like someone's watching you while you're wandering the streets. A lot of pressure behind that, too. A lot of, like, the swords are coming down and leading down to this, um, situation where there's some fighting going on. Like, the swords are coming down on you. And you can jump out the window. I almost feel like jumping out the window is leading to the fighting anyway. Like, you're under pressure and you're just fighting. You're going towards fighting. Even though that's kind of crazy because the moon's sucking your brain out. Or whatever that is. I'm not entirely sure. With this bad idea of what you want. A relationship? Possibly two of cups? I said that completely backwards. Two of cups, possibly a relationship. Um, possibly something um, between two people, romantic-wise. Possibly family, possibly a partnership of some kind. Usually it indicates romance, because it's the cups. Lots of emotion between them, you know? Like he's attaching himself to her, and they're sharing each other's cups. And she's holding her belly, like there's a chance that something could develop between the two. That's much deeper, right? Right. What you're afraid of, with all of this injustice, was because someone took some risks. Somebody was unfair with some risks? Hmm. What's going on around you with all of this fighting? Someone needs to think about some things. Someone needs to take a time out and just relax and be like, I need a nap. I need a nap and a blanket to cover me, you know, like, their eyes still wide open, but their other half is just like, I need a break. Just for a minute. Just because I seem tired, you know, carrying that blank stare. But underneath that blank stare with their moon side, it's like, they're exhausted and just want to go to sleep. They want to chill. Uh, what's going against you with the Eight of Wands reverse, where there's kind of no movement, nothing. Strength. A Leo, someone has the ability, the wherewithal to hold out on like making a decision or moving on. Possibly a Leo. The final result, we got this page of pentacles, someone who's able to adapt or manifest. Being the baggage. Mind you, this could be a young, this could be a kid, too. You know. Like, you got what you wished for, but there was baggage to come along with it. Hmm. With the ending theme, being possibly a Taurus, but... Someone who's in tradition, possibly the gatekeeper of everything, right? And a broken heart over top of that. It could possibly be somebody who's in charge of, like, the values or traditions that could do with 
family or organization, community, church. But this person is thinking of a broken heart situation, possibly, that could be bothering them. Or maybe they feel torn in something. And they feel like, hmm, like they got three legs, so I, I'm thinking that's important. Like, two of them are going the same direction, but the other one's going somewhere else. And, like, their toes are all different shapes and sizes, and that's kind of awkward. But, yeah, it's just like, do I keep going this way, or should I go to another? It's kind of vibe. I'm getting. Okay been left out in the cold and there's a lot of pressure to go into a lot of fighting that you need a break from someone's got a bad idea about a personal relationship whether they should harvest or not I feel like someone's flexing like you know I'll show you this is how I this is my strength. This is what I am. This is how I be. This is how I'm going to deal with this very brute force like manner. Like, it's not like the chick with the line. He's not being gentle with keeping the mouth shut. It's like he's opening it up and just has, and just displaying this I could hurt you if I wanted to. This is, I'm sorry for being really dark. I'm just reading them out. Uh, <laughs> um, then there's injustice right here. Some unfairness with somebody taking some risks. Like, whatever this is, like, it was risky behavior. I don't, and like, the wire has the potential of snapping. Like, if you, like, you can't see it because it's so tiny. And I barely made it out when I first got this deck, but the rope is actually very frayed and holding on by a thread. And you can barely see it, but you can see it as it's dangling over this guy's mouth. It's just like, is it going to snap or not? And below that is like someone got what they wished for with this Page of Pentacles person. Maybe they were trying to adapt or maybe this is somebody's child, but it came with baggage. And that baggage is the unfairness of this risky behavior. So... Someone was kind of being a crook in it. Someone was kind of being a con man with the King of Pentacles reversed. Huh. Interesting. And someone is debating on whether to sever the ties that feed them. Let them see if they'll grow on their own. Or if they should continue feeding off of it. Like... Putting in what you give out. Are you going to cut that umbilical cord? Are you going to keep developing something for it? And there is a king of cups here. Who is very... kind. He's very much into looking at things as they are. Like, he doesn't have his mouth open, so I feel like he doesn't say anything. Like, he's quiet? Like, I feel like like that's a swirl in his head, yeah, but I feel like that's another ear. Like, he listens really well, too, but I feel like he's really quiet. Maybe he's quiet about all of this. I don't know. But yeah, there you go, Aries. That's your reading. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.